Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So I caught a winner on video today and it happened this morning in AMD and I wanna show it to you. It is an opening range break. I wanna go through it second by second. It only took two minutes. It was a $400 winner, so it was a great morning for me. But I wanna show you three alternative ways that you could have managed this trade. I wanna give you kind of the three most popular ways to manage day trade scalp trades or even just day trades in general this trade that I took, I applied a two to one reward to risk ratio. That's what I like to stick with. That's kind of my tried and true method. I'm gonna show you that strategy for approaching the management technique. And then I'm gonna show you two others. We'll go through them all, make sure you see the good and the bad of each. We'll see which one would have been the most profitable or the better off of these three for this specific trade today. And if you guys like this format where I give you alternate ways to manage a trade that I show you, drop down in the comment section, let me know, tell me you like this format because I've been recording my trades each morning and I've got plenty of content that I can use to show you winners and losers and we can apply different management techniques to each of these trades that I've recorded. So with that, let's jump in. So let's jump into this trade on AMD. So what I like to do is trade the 15 minute time frame. I like to trade opening range breakups, breakdowns, um, just anything out of the open because you have so much volume. And I wanna show you that right here. You can see this first candle right here. Look at this volume bar. It's typically the largest volume bar of the day for AMD and for a lot of stocks. So that's typically why I focus on this time frame or this, this point in the trading day. Now, you can see my trade over here, uh, P&L 400 on this trade, and you can see the price action just got beat up right out of the gate. Now, when I was setting up this trade this morning, I was waiting on this, and I really thought we were gonna go higher, but then we dumped the downside and I got triggered on the downside trade. So, what I wanna talk about is the three different management types and how those play out. Now, before we get into it, I do wanna show you the live trade so you can see that. But I drew these white lines on here and I just wanted to show you that here and here, this was my entry, this white line here, and then this was my exit right here. So this is a two to one reward to risk ratio. This was my entry, that's my exit, there's the profit. So with that, let's just take a quick peek at this live trade. All right, now that you've seen the trade, you've seen how it all played out, I wanna show you on this whiteboard here that the two to one, reward is two, risk is one, and right now, just to update everybody, my risk level or R value right now is $200. It was $150 in September, and now for the entire month of October, I've bumped it up to $200. So for each trade that I lose, I lose $200. For each trade that I win, I win $400. So you can see right here today, two to one management technique for this trade produced a $400 winner with a stop loss of 25 cents and a target of 50 cents. So it did hit that 50 cent target, paid out the 400, 
That's my style of management. And I can show you that again right here on the platform. You can see exactly where those lines are. And you can see this was just sort of a little, little bit of the move. This wasn't the whole move. This wasn't even a majority of the move. So now let's talk about what would happen if you apply different management techniques. And this is where you can tailor things to fit your trading style. You don't have to follow what I do or what anyone else does. You can make a decision on your own and in combination with your back testing, you'll be able to tell what's the best style for you. So if we look at here, let's start with one of the most common strategies for managing trades, which is a reward of 1.5 to a risk of one. So they call it 1.5 to one reward to risk ratio. Now, if this would hit with my level of risk being $200, it would produce a $300 winner with a stop loss of 25 cents and a target of 37 and a half cents per share. So it doesn't have to go all the way to 50, just needs to go 37 and a half. So you say, okay, that seems logical because that's gonna be reached easier, so the win rate's probably higher. And that's true. And that's where this math gets really interesting because if we flip back over here, you can see 37 and a half cents would have been down in this area. It definitely hit, so this would have paid out $300 on the 1.5 to one reward to risk ratio. But here's the catch. It only pays the $300, not 400. So in the long run, if trades are hitting 1.5 and two to one, the two to one is going to be more profitable. Now, if they're not hitting two to one and they're falling short, then you're going to have more losers there and the 1.5 is going to be more profitable. But you'll see if you were to play out maybe a hundred of these trades, and this is what I've done is gone and back tested this before I started live trading it, and it was showing that the two to one was working with my strategy that I like to trade. So it made more sense for me to go with the two to one rather than the 1.5 to one. So, just to review that, 2.1 paid 400 today, and 1.5 to 1 paid 300 today on today's AMD trade 15 minute chart right out of the gate. Now, for the final one, let's look at the 3 to 1. The 3 to 1 is pretty impressive because it's going to pay $600 for each winner, but it's going to have to go 75 cents. It's got to go three times what the stop loss is. And if you don't understand how to calculate your stop loss and your take profit and your number of shares you should be taking so that you can control your risk, I'm going to pop a video up here in the corner. Check that video out. That'll really help you with figuring out how to predict or come up with your exact share size. So with three to one, 75 cents. So let's pop back over here. So we know right here at 87, let's see, 87.18, that was 50 cents. So we know it went 50 cents, so we need to go another 25 cents beyond that. So if we get to $87, which is right here, we know that's 18 cents. So that means we gotta go another seven cents beyond that. So we need to technically get to, what is it, 86.93? So let's see if it went. There is 86.93. So yes, this would have paid out three to one. And just to kind of freestyle here a little bit, you can see from there, if we went another 25 cents and we were at 86.93, if we go 83, 73 to 70 to 68, 86.68 would be another R. There it is. So this technically would have gone four to one. So back over here, we were just looking at three to one. This would have also hit four to one, which would have been an $800 winner, would have had a stop loss of 25 cents and a target of $1. So you can see the progression of this. So if you're back testing, I get a lot of questions about back testing. If you're going back through old data and you're looking at candlestick charts and you're trying to figure out what your strategy should be and how exactly you should manage it, if you're seeing consistency where you're hitting four R targets on whatever setup you're planning or creating, you really need to think about that because if you hit four to one on your reward to risk ratio, your win rate can be very, very low and you can still be profitable. Even at two to one, I'm able to be profitable at 34%. Here's the wild thing about a four to one reward to risk ratio. If you're using four to one, 
you have to win 20% of the time to break even. So let's say, for example, you risk $100 every time you take a trade. If you win a trade, you're going to win $400. So you win $400, you lose $100. So let's say you win 2 out of 10 trades. That's 20%, and that would be 2 trades times $400 each. So that's $800 in profits. Now, after that, let's say you lose the next eight. So now you have 10 total trades. You won two. You lost eight. Those eight losers are going to be $100 each. So that's going to be $800. So that means your two trades generated $800 and offset your losses so now you break even. So if you win 21% of the time, you're now profitable. That is massive. That is so important. That's the essence of all day trading. It's all reward to risk ratio and figuring out that sweet spot and then sticking to your mechanics so that you can be consistent. Four to one, 20%. Incredible. Two to one that I like to do, 33% to break even. So you can see how the math can really be powerful and really help you out. If you have questions, drop them below and we'll see you next time. Thank you.